everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We do have my WWE Elimination Chamber 2020 predictions for you guys. Now, obviously, the show is coming up on Sunday. However, it feels like they just rushed into this show. I feel like all the focus was on Super Showdown, you know, getting the title on Goldberg, trying to set up the theme for John Cena. They really did not put a lot of focus on this show, and I do believe, didn't they even have like a few weeks back, like three or four weeks ago, didn't Sheamus come out and just declare he was in the Elimination Chamber? And then we ended up not even getting getting a championship or number one contender elimination chamber match for this year which is very odd which is which actually hurts my feelings we have the women's version and we do have the tag team version which i am excited for the tag team version but i feel like the women's version is very predictable we already kind of know what to expect out of that matchup so i am kind of um, you know i'm bummed about that because the elimination chamber is one of my favorite stipulation matches of all time and i feel like it's kind of been robbed from us this year but hopefully this show does better than advertised usually when the shows don't have a lot on the card they end up doing better than a show that is absolutely stacked. So hopefully that's what we get with Elimination Chamber 2020, guys. But I'm going to run down the card. We don't have that many matches. I'm sure there will be some matches announced on Friday Night Smackdown. Maybe Drew Gulak and Daniel Bryan or something added like that. If that match is added, I am going to go with Daniel Bryan for the dub. But if they add any more matches, I will pin them down in the comment section for you guys to check out if you want my personal opinion on the matches. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into Elimination Chamber 2020. Now, before we get into the matches themselves, guys, I do want to talk about this real quick. It feels like there are no superstars, like big-time megastars from WWE on this show. I mean, The Fiend, Drew McIntyre, Goldberg, Brock Lesnar, Becky Lynch, Kevin Owens, Ricochet, Roman Reigns, Sasha Banks, Bayley. All those big names left off the card, which is kind of crazy, I guess, because we're going into Mania. You know, I guess it could be, you know, behind the scenes, they're trying to play it a little safe so they don't have any injuries. I highly doubt that, but I'm just saying it could play into it. Now, it's just ridiculous that we have all this talent left off of the card. There's no men's elimination chamber, you know, for a championship again or a number one contendership, which is very odd. But again, hopefully the show delivers. I just wanted to put all this talent up on the screen so you guys recognize how much talent is left off of this card for Elimination Chamber 2020. But now that we've covered that, guys, let's officially dive into the match card that is WWE Elimination Chamber 2020. All right, guys, so starting things off, I'm sure this matchup will start the night off at Elimination Chamber. We have the SmackDown Tag Team Championship Elimination Chamber match between the champions Miz and Morrison taking on the Usos, the New Day, Dolph Ziggler and Bobby Roode, Lucha House Party, and Heavy Machinery. Now, this matchup actually on paper has the makings to be amazing. I like all the teams in this thing. I'm not a big Lucha House Party fan, but individually, I know every person in this match is pretty talented. May I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Heavy Machinery, but their characters are pretty good. Now, I know we've seen Tag Team Elimination Chamber matches in the past, and they haven't been the greatest matches ever, but they do call for some fun spots, and I think everybody in this matchup is pretty talented enough to put on a damn good football game, and do not sleep on this match. I don't think anybody is. It is an Elimination Chamber, and all the pr all the people in this match are pretty entertaining and pretty good in the ring. So hopefully we get a great matchup out of these. You know, this one's actually pretty tough to predict. Just because Miz and Morrison just won the Tag Team Championships, I would just say, you know, they're going to win. However, they took an L to the Usos on SmackDown, but that could just be a swerve trying to get you to you know make this match kind of unpredictable so I'm not exactly sure. I think at the end of the day I think it's going to be either Miz or Morrison or the Usos and I think I'm going to go with the Usos I'm going with the Usos to win the Smackdown Tag Titles. I know that it sucks for Miz and Morrison I hate that for Morrison. You know he finally wins the title and he's just like a transitional champion but I don't know that's just kind of what I'm feeling here but I would like to see Miz and Morrison retain and I actually wouldn't mind a Dolph Ziggler Bobby Roode win. But anyways I just hope for a good football game in this one and I'm excited for it. This is probably the match I'm most excited for besides AJ Styles and Aleister Black. Next up, guys, we do have the United States Championship match between Andrade Cien almost defending his title against Humberto Carrillo. These guys have been at each other's throats. I feel like we've seen them wrestle 150 times. Humberto Carrillo did, you know, hit the DDT on Andrade onto the concrete floor, which, you know, rode him off TV for 30 days because he was suspended for violation of the PD, PED policy, I do believe. But these guys are great in the ring, and I do like Andrade, so hopefully we just get a good game out of it. I really don't see Humberto winning. Andrade Cien almost is the bigger name. Carrillo has lost every single big match that he has been in, so I, I expect that trend to continue going into Mania because Cian Almas is the bigger name. I think he could have a better Mania match, and I'm, I'm looking forward to him going into Mania, so seeing who he's going to feud with, and possibly we could get maybe some mix-up with Rey Mysterio involved or something. I'm not sure, but Carrillo is definitely not winning. I'm going with Andrade Cian Almas, and hopefully they do keep the title on him going into WrestleMania 36 in Tampa. 
Next up, guys, we do have the three-on-one Intercontinental Championship match between Braun Strowman taking on Shinsuke Nakamura, Cesaro, and Sami Zayn. Now, hopefully, this matchup just leads to one big-ass ladder match at WrestleMania or something like that, kind of like we got at WrestleMania 32. Now, I hate to say it, but I love Shinsuke, Cesaro, and Sami Zayn, but they are definitely going to be losing this matchup to Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman's definitely going to be the champion heading into Mania. Definitely the most popular of the three amongst, you know, part-timers and, you know, part-time fans and fans that don't watch the product every single week. And so, I I think that Braun Strowman's definitely going to take care of business. Maybe he gets some help from somebody or maybe, I, I don't know, or probably he'll just probably destroy all three of them because that's what WWE likes to do. They love to use Braun Strowman in this novelty act where he just destroys everybody and, you know, gets the big W, overcomes the odds here, and that's probably what's going to take place right here. Very unfortunate for Shinsuke Cesaro and Sami Zayn. While they kind of make a good team because it's three guys that WWE has never pulled the trigger on really and sort of just let them float around, all three of these guys right here have the potential to be world champions. But in Anyways, I am going to go with Braun Strowman. I don't know how it's going to play out, but I do know that uh, the Monster Among Men is going to be walking out of Elimination Chamber as the Intercontinental Champion. Next up, guys, we do have the Raw Tag Team Championship match between the Street Profits taking on Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy. Now, it's really odd because it seems like the Street Profits and these guys just started feuding, and now here they are in back-to-back -back matchups on little pay-per-view shows. We had Super Showdown, then we had Elimination Chamber, but, you know, we had Samoa Joe and Kevin Owens and the Viking Raiders going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Rollins and Murphy and AOP. Now, they're just thrust into the Street Profits. Now, the Street Profits did win the Tag Team Championships on Monday Night Raw, and I really don't know what called for them to have a rematch, but they did win the tag titles, and hopefully we get a good football game out of this one. Now, I don't know why they would flip-flop the titles. I feel like maybe this is going to lead to the Buddy Murphy versus Seth Rollins match at WrestleMania, but I don't feel like they've been tag team partners for very long. I think that we're eventually going to get Kevin Owens versus Rollins, so I really don't know where the hell this thing's going, but I guess we will find out at Elimination Chamber. But I am going to be going with the Street Profits to retain, since they just won the tag titles. I don't see them flip-flopping it back and forth, so I am going to go with the Street Profits Profits to retain their Raw Tag Team Championships, but hopefully this matchup is a banger. Next up, guys, we do have the no disqualification match between Aleister Black and AJ Styles. Now, I am very much looking forward to this matchup. Now, I think the only reason this matchup has the no disqualification stipulation is because I think The Undertaker will get involved here. We obviously know Super Showdown, The Undertaker came out and won the gauntlet match when he wasn't even advertised, attacked AJ Styles, and won the thing. So I think that without a shadow of a doubt... The Undertaker is going to show up and take out AJ Styles, and then we're going to have our AJ Styles versus Undertaker matchup take place at WrestleMania. Hopefully, it's a good match. You know, how good would that match have been had it happened like 10 years ago or even five, six years ago? I think it would have been an absolute banger. Hopefully, you know, they can tell a good story anyways. But in this matchup, I am going to go for Aleister Black. I just hope they let him go at it for 20 minutes and then let The Undertaker come in, do his thing, go to WrestleMania and have their matchup, I guess. But I just want a really good matchup between Aleister Black and AJ Styles. And don't forget, they are tying up at Hell's Gate inside the Elimination Chamber for the Elite Championship. Now, I'm not sure if this will be the main event or not, but I am going to go with the number one contendership Raw Women's Championship match, Elimination Chamber, between Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, Shayna Baszler, Asuka, Natalya, and Sarah Logan. Now, obviously, the winner of this matchup is going to go on to WrestleMania to take on Becky Lynch, and I think this one's pretty freaking obvious, guys. It's going to be Shayna Baszler, and there's no other way to book it. It's very, very predictable, so that is unfortunate. Hopefully, this match does a main event, but I do see it main eventing, you know, maybe some crazy shit goes down. I highly doubt that. But they just kind of thrust all these women in the matchup and we're like, here, here we go. And uh, hopefully it comes down to Shayna and Asuka and we get some good back and forth between the two. I, now I think the final three are definitely going to be Baszler, Asuka, and Natalya. But I think ultimately Baszler is going to come out victorious and we are going to get our Becky Lynch and Shayna Baszler matchup at WrestleMania. Now I think everybody really agrees with that. There's really nothing else you can say. Uh, but uh, yeah, 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 Becky Lynch is, is not going to stand tall. Maybe she comes out at the end of the show, holds up the title. But at WrestleMania, Shayna Baszler is definitely taking that Raw Women's Championship. I'm not a big Shayna Baszler fan. I think she's quite boring and just a bunch of headlocks and shit. I think Ronda Rousey's a much better wrestler. I think she's a much better entertaining superstar. But you know what? They like her, man. They're going to strap the rocket to her and uh, we're going to see what the hell goes down. That's another thing. We don't even have Charlotte on this card, so that's pretty awkward as well. But again, maybe they add some matchups on Friday Night SmackDown, guys. But for now, this is all we got. If they have added anything, it will be in the comment section below and it will be a pin comment, so just check that out if you want to see my predictions. But that is pretty much going to do it for my WWE Elimination Chamber 2020 predictions, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below what your predictions are down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos, and I will see you guys in the next video.
Thank you.